Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me today. It's your girl C Chronicles. I'm here with another episode of Talking Sense. Uh, if you're wondering why we're calling it Talking Sense, I've had to change my banner because I decided to introduce other uh, interests of mine on this channel, which will be called, which will be calling Nonsense Episodes. So if I'm doing a scent episode, we'll be calling it Talking Sense. If it's not about sense, it will be a Nonsense Episodes. And those in uh, episodes will include um, interests of mine like uh, fashion lifestyle vlogs and stuff like that so do stay tuned uh, there's more to come on this channel today I'm here with another fragrance review from the house rave right this is uh, the fragrance that we are talking about today this is the pre presentation I'm putting it sideways you know for the lighting right this is the packaging the, com uh, the company is called rave rave um, I believe is a Middle Eastern um, fragrance company as well so we're talking about the fragrance pleasure girl by the house rave and this is the fragrance in question right it's called pleasure girl by rave I like uh, you know this uh, bottle um, it's a very nice egg like looking uh, bottle with a very unique cap mm, that's it the cap is quite tight it clips on right uh, so I like bottles like that because I hate accidents you know when you pick it up and then it drops and sometimes you lose your fragrance so yeah well done for that they this is a clipping bottle um, and, and then the, the actual bottle itself looks very pretty guys uh, but what I don't like about it though is uh, things are already falling apart I've had this fragrance for about uh, three months now, but uh, you know this it had something here You know, there's a stretchy thing here and it had something there that fell off and uh, You know if you look at that You know for a fragrance that I've had for less than um, Three four months. This is just mm, off you know, so sometimes these Middle Eastern uh, fragrance houses, you know, they do so much and then things fall apart in terms of uh, packaging because obviously this is not very well made uh, the, the the you know this whole part is just it's it's gone and I, I don't like that but anyway uh, it is what it is so I'm gonna spray uh, a couple of spritzes in the air and then I'll tell you um, my thoughts right this is pleasure girl by the house rave uh, rave is a mi Middle Eastern uh, fragrance house as well and they do clones dupes and they have standalones they have their own creations as well but i think they 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 also you know do a lot of um designer fragrance dupes so this one caught my eye because you know of the notes the notes here this is a very fruity fragrance but it's a very the first thing that hits you it's the cherry you know this is a very cherry cherry based uh fragrance the cherry is in your face that's what you you you, you know you, you sniff the first time around and you carry you carry it along it's got aquatic notes as well a bit of cotton candy you know which promises that it's going to be a yummy scent right cotton candy it's leathery there's black currant uh it's got tangerine and some roses so yeah the, the notes were what um made me buy this fragrance because you know I thought it was going to be a very interesting fragrance and I was right. This fragrance is a very nice expensive uh, smelling fragrance. It shares the same DNA with um, uh, Givenchy's Very Irresistible. Uh, I know I've talked about uh, Givenchy's Very Irresistible on another episode on this channel uh, referring to another fragrance. This is because these Middle Eastern houses, you know, s some of them will have you know they, they they have the same fragrance but branded as another name you know so it's not surprising that if you buy a fragrance you might be surprised that it may be exactly the same but well this is different from the one I was talking about the other time the one I was talking about the, uh, the other time was closer to the um, uh, manifestos um, YSL by manifest uh, manifesto by YSL and uh, it was it was also closer to Givenchy's uh, very irresistible but this one is it's got the same DNA as Givenchy's very irresistible but I think it qualifies as an intense 
version because this one is an amped up version of Very Irresistible by Givenchy. So if you like Very Irresistible by Givenchy and uh, you know you want to go a step further because I've had Very, irre very Irresistible by uh, uh, Givenchy and I'd say it's a um, clean, subtle, warm, girly, light, citrusy composition you know it's, it's a very comforting scent uh but it's it's on the quieter side uh although yes you will get noticed but it's on the subtle side it's not in your face now picture this this is the amped up version this will give you that same feel but beast mode right so that's what we're talking about today this has got a very sharp piercing cherry that you get in the opening um and then it's it's got all these um, other uh, floral scents that come in and it's mostly roses. You know, I think re red roses to be precise, but then the sweetness, you know, keeps going on. That, that cotton candy sh sweetness, uh, you know, carries along as well. This is a fragrance that just screams for attention. This is a fragrance that if you wear it, um, People are gonna ask you what you're wearing. You know, this does not in a way smell tacky because of the price, no. This is one fragrance that, you know, I would definitely recommend buying as a blind buy. It's, if you like the super sex, sexy, uh, girly fragrances in your face, and I'm not saying a man cannot wear this, I guess men who like uh, ultra feminine fragrances, you know, might find this one favorable uh, because this one is definitely femme fatale. It's a ladies fragrance, nothing about unisex to it unless you like female fragrances. This is it. This is for an assertive person. Uh, it's, it's overpowering but in a nice way. I don't know if that makes sense. You know, it's overpowering in a, you know, it's, it's not the kind of um, fragrance that would, you know, get people saying, oh, she, she's just, that's just too much. No, it's overpowering in the sense that it will take over. When you walk in a room, people will notice, oh, somebody has come in and they're smelling good, you know, if they like this particular kind of uh, fragrance, this person is smelling good, you know, so it's overpowering in the sense that it will just possibly rubbish some of the scents that are there. But at the same time, you know, not annoy anybody, you know, I, I don't see this making, you know, people this this to me is is one fragrance fragrance that is lovable it's 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 not it's not particularly too unique like i said it's got that familiarity you know um where if you imagine uh you know feminine scents and then you smell this this is possibly what you'd be expecting but what i like about this is the longevity and what i like again is the cherry you know and the sweetness the sweetness in this is not sugary honey in your face sweetness but it is sweet and then it's got that sharpness you know i think it's the patchouli it's got that sharpness that carries it you know which makes it the scent where when you walk in people know oh she is smelling good you know so yeah this is for an assertive woman and in terms of who would like this this is one fragrance that i think you know is gonna be uh, ideal for all age groups you know i see a teenager liking this i see a uh, a middle-aged uh, woman liking this I see a you know a mature woman liking this um, I think that way you know it, it's one that covers everything and it's a very safe uh, blind buy it's a very safe gift I think uh, but for people that really like say quieter notes or if you love uh, Givenchy's uh, very irresistible and that's all you can take maybe this is not gonna be wise because this one's a bit strong you know this is one heavy fragrance uh, but not in a in a revolting way it's a heavy fragrance in a nice way it's a super sexy yummy fragrance so yeah I think they did a, a good job here this is another Middle Eastern uh, fragrance house that I intend to explore it's uh, called rave and uh, this is the one that I picked for today um, I do have I think another rave in my collection um, 
and if you're wondering where you could get this you can get it on uh, amazon i've seen them on amazon but uh, i uh, i've seen that you'd have to do a bit of shopping as well on amazon like you know uh, more search because if you just search initially you get the aerosols there's loads of aerosols uh, of this fragrance on uh, amazon but getting the actual one in this bottle you know you have to look um but you can get it on amazon and i've seen uh, a couple of aerosols on amazon today if not then you can check other sites uh you can check ebay uh they will have uh, you possibly get a, a you know a seller with this fragrance price wise it's not heavy on your pocket again this one will set you back maybe 30 bucks again you know somewhere along those lines 30 bucks 25 bucks depending on where you buy it from which you know i think is still affordable for 100 mils and um yeah it's a pretty very nice uh, fragrance uh, to be honest i'm just disappointed with how it's already falling apart and uh, you know um I, I just hope it doesn't start peeling on you know the actual the actual paint on the bottle because that would be like a huge disappointment so yeah this has been my review for today it's pleasure go by rave um you know a perfume that say, say uh, shares the same dna with uh Givenchy is very irresistible but the intense fired up version so do try it if you like to try cheapies and um a disclaimer though i know you put a disclaimer in the beginning this is not to rubbish the efforts that are done by you know big brands and stuff like that this is just to help a sister or a brother somebody who wants something that's more affordable this is the reason why i do these uh fragrance reviews and this is why i also do the designer fragrances because i do have those as well but um you know this is just because i know i was at a point when i was a young uh, girl i loved loved fragrances and if i had had the opportunity or if youtube was there to give me recommendations for cheaper uh, fragrances i would have loved that because you know most of these are affordable even for uh, the teenagers you can save up 25 bucks easy and get yourself a very good perfume for 25 bucks or less so yeah having said that i'm happy you joined me today if you've watched all the uh, way to the end Thank you very much guys thank you for keeping the faith thank you for staying on this channel uh, i will have another fragrance review for you and i will also have a nonsense episode for you uh, soon uh, fragrances i'll have more coming next week uh, and then i'll see what we'll start off with with a nonsense episode um, but i hope you loved this uh, episode we've been talking about this uh, fragrance pleasure girl right i hope you enjoyed this episode if you buy it do tell me what you think in the comment section i hope you like it i hope i'm bang on uh with this review and uh, do stay safe guys uh remember covid is still around so uh you know it, it cannot be emphasized enough to stay safe uh to wash hands to wear masks properly uh do you know um let us contribute our own part to this uh, uh you know crisis let us try as much as possible to lessen the burden on the health workers uh you know because we are in this situation we don't know when it's going to end but the way it is now as long as we stay you know safe and and uh, practice uh, what we're supposed to be doing like washing hands and social distancing we will pull through so yeah it's been nice uh, talking to you today and thank you very much for sticking around it's been your girl c chronicles with an episode of talking sense remember guys still uh, smelling good is a form of good manners stay blessed and cheers <laughs>